Hi, this is Nick at ASUS, and today we're going to take a look at the Windows Remote feature of our new Transformer All-in-One. So for those not familiar with our new Transformer All-in-One, it basically it features a 18.4-inch Tegra 3-based Android tablet, uh, which docks into a Core i3, i5, or i7-based PC station. And when I mean Windows Remote, uh, what ASUS has done is when you detach the tablet, you'll be able to remote back into the PC station uh, using a piece of software called Splashtop. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works. OK, so what we're looking at here now is the screen that you will be brought to as soon as you're done with the Windows 8 setup and the personalization. So as soon as you're done with that and you're booting into Windows, this is the first screen that you're going to see. And what this program is going to do is transfer the information uh, when you connect in Windows to your wireless network. It's going to transfer that information over to Android automatically so that Android will connect to the same network and thus enabling the Windows Remote Mode. So let's go ahead and click Next. And on this next screen right here, as you can see, uh, the connection that we've connected to is called Video Room 5 GHz. I've already entered the password for, that, for the wireless network, and it's going to ask me to enter it one more time on this screen so that it can pass the information to Android. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. And here it's going to tell us that, OK, the Transformer All-in-One setup is complete. Discover more about ASUS Transformer AI you can do in the tutorial app. We can go ahead and click Done. And the next window that you will see upon the first setup of this device is going to be the Splashtop app. So Splashtop is what we use to make the Windows Remote connection. That will basically enable the tablet to go back to the base station and stream your Windows so that when you're on the same network in your household, you can go between Android and Windows. So let's click Go. So on this next page, we're going to go ahead and accept the end user license agreement. We do have the option to uh, send our data to Splashtop to help them improve the product. So let's go ahead and click Accept. OK, so this is going to be the screen where Splashtop is going to have you create a security code. So what this does is it's going to make sure that the only device that can go ahead and do, rem do the remote feature back to the PC station for Windows is a device that has this security code. So let's go ahead and create a security code. For this purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and make one test1234. And then we're going to go ahead and confirm it, test1234. And it says that its security code is saved. So let's go ahead and click Next. And it tells us, done. If you already have a Splash, Splashtop remote app on your mobile device, you can now access this computer remotely. So let's go ahead and click Finish. And here you can see that the Splashtop streamer window has popped up automatically. So this is more so like the settings window. Uh, you don't need to do anything in here. In fact, you can go ahead and X out of it immediately. It's going to tell you that it's going to continue to run in the background so that you'll be able to continue making the connections. And it will also stay uh, active in the bottom right corner in the system tray. So let's go ahead and take a look at it in action. So we're going to go ahead and undock the tablet now. And the connection should be automatically made back to the PC station. Let's undock it. We see we've gone into Android, Splashtop is opened, and we're back into Windows. So hopefully this has helped to give you a better understanding of how the Windows Remote feature works on our Transformer All-in-One. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe to our ASUS North America channel.